Wow. Um, hey, honeys. Um, hey, future you and any of my supporters, my genuine supporters, what's going on? My name is Shalice, and I wanted to just come up on here right quick and do a quick chat with you. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's sufficient in my world. <laughs> I, I wanted to come up on here because um, I wanted to send a message about matters when you have somebody kind of going after you and they're spreading rumors and it's a here and a third and you know you know that you actually have not done any of those things any of those allegations that person who's actually been copying off of you um and sees you as a threat because why else would they have you know your name in their mouth and i mean there's so, there's so many like outlandish things that people do in order to like tarnish my character um, for just simply existing but I gotta say this though whoever doesn't want to take an opportunity to ask me directly or whoever doesn't want to take an opportunity to like clear up any type of rumors um, be affiliated with me or try to hire me that's a loss on them it really is like I understand all about reviews I know for myself that when it comes to like buying something on a website I like to look at the reviews before deciding but then as sometimes I'm like you know what like let me take a chance on something like that there's there's something about taking chances on materials um, food sometimes places and people that really turns out beneficial yes you can make some mistakes and you can find yourself like you know you can learn a lesson but there's something about really when it comes to me when it comes to me i know that i'm a, an authentic human being like i'm a i'm i'm a real ass raw but in a way where it's like it's still respectful to a point where you you know you cross me and i know that you're trying to like get over on me so it's just like like it could be worse <laughs> you feel me like no but with me definitely you're gonna win it's just that people who are always coming up against me obviously they take my stuff so they think that i'm a winner too why else would they do this you feel me like why else would you need to try to block me and feel so insecure about who you are as a human being because somebody takes an interest in me and i'm not doing anything to to have them be attracted to me or like you know attract an opportunity for me to like network and do business with somebody like that or even on like you know a social kind of situation you must be insecure and this is like the tale as old as time if you need to be that person then you know eventually your your true colors will come out once that person frequently hangs out with you and then they'll be like oh okay but sometimes by that point that person might not might not care because that person was always as toxic as you or you might just try to infiltrate into your system but when you are an independent thinker when you are actually a person who loves a community but is just like you know the difference from right and wrong so if you're like say like you're in a family and that family is toxic as shit like okay or you're in a you're in a church and you're here for one thing well you're out here for multiple things to you know serve god to represent and to unify but if you find out that that church is not good for you then you bounce or you actually make it known about like hey look like this is not good for me and but not in like an overly aggressive or, or offensive way unless they bring problems to you and then you did you leave you know you, you you do what's best for you and that's the same thing that i've done with me i do not take kindly to anybody trying to disrespect me on any type of like level i do have a tolerance but best believe that i am working something in the background in order to protect myself from the entities and people that seem to have me fucked up so when i've told you exactly what the fuck it is about where my boundaries are and you thought that i'm pussyfooting or i'm just you know bsing do not act surprised when you really find yourself where you will find yourself I don't need to specify because honestly there are different types of um ways how like you know i put people's in their place so you know um that's the trick of the trade with me so i wanted to go ahead and continue saying what it is in regards to just how to carry yourself not even just how to carry yourself basically do what it is that you continue to do because i know that i do exactly what i need to do for myself 
even though people are talking behind my back and those people are the same kind of copycats it doesn't matter what your title is it doesn't matter what your what your role is or who you have um surrounded next to you those people can be corrupt too even though that they, they disguise themselves as you know pure or like um a good per a good person like come on now i i see it this way robert downey jr was somebody who was like a convicted um i think he was like a convicted criminal like basically he had a history he had a solid history he he went to prison um he served time and he had a lot of like you know dark stuff happened to him somehow a guy a friend of his you know um gave him a shot and boom he's iron man like I don't want to bring, I don't want to dredge up the past so you guys can go like look at it though. But like that shit is behind him, and it wasn't anything like drastically tragic where you need to cancel him because he's fucking Robert Downey Jr. Like he's awesome of all time. Like he's always he's always got his shit together now. I mean, you know, he was just you know he was just in a dark place. Um, but I have to use you know like it just reminds me like oh he's an Aries. Um, and it's just like he's and he just embodies that charismatic kind of um sun energy which is which is pretty cool nonetheless um i just i wanted to use him as as an example of somebody actually you know taking a chance and that person not fucking it up and actually showing what he's about now i'm pretty sure there was a lot of people that were trying to down him um behind his back and were just like oh i don't know if you want to do that maybe you would want to try to do this other person instead um to be like your guy and um dude was dude ended up being like no and then tony is who tony is um like tony stark um and you know like please i cannot see him i cannot see anybody um replacing him or like you know having like done what what he did who can do it as nicely they might have you know done like they might try to do like an alternate universe or kind of something like that in the future but you cannot try to see somebody else try to do what he did or any type of future actor not do not look back at tone um not look back at robert downey jr you know without like not look back <laughs> not look back without taking notes basically at robert downey jr so yeah i i see i i put my place in a position where it's just like i fucked with myself heavy obviously i know what i bring to the table i know what i can bring to the table and i know i know myself when people try to taint my fucking character, does that have to do anything with the fucking business itself? Does that have to do anything with the social stuff itself? Like, if you have the responsibility, here's the thing. If somebody tries to, like, make a rumor about me, boom. You already know exactly, like, I guess, whatever it is that this person has made up or lied about. But does that have anything to do with the position that you are actually intrigued in me about? Okay, well, what if they try to make it into a situation where it kind of cross roads cross paths or makes it look like i would be a risky um a risky situation then i mean then make like a, a fucking clause or something like that in the contract that will you know kind of protect yourself and like put me see so that's what I'm, basically there's no excuse for anybody to be like oh well you know we just wanted to go with another person be, and not and not say because of somebody else um, talk, talking into your ear and trying to taint my fucking character unless you actually seen it for your eyes because I'm telling you I have ex-relatives ex-friends ex-lovers that have been really trying to like taint my character and make me look like an ugly person and the only time when they need to see me being ugly is when they literally have crossed me and put my life on the line because at that point I don't need to be kind to you like I keep it a, I keep it a fucking buck like yo like for real for real that's because in Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the it's survival. It's literally in a, in a point where it's like it's survival. I mean, these people have literally tried to kill me, and it's to the point where it's just like these people are trying to play dumb, like they don't know what exactly what I'm talking about. But no, I have receipts, and that's why these people are going to fucking. Um, we have them in court right now, and that's another reason why I have a permanent restraining order against one of my ex partners. I don't play this shit. I really don't play this shit. If you want to take a loss by, you know, not affiliating or associating or doing business with, with me, that is not something that I'm going to take 
to heart or consideration but it will be a fucking i told you so you can be the one of the many other kind of people that have to do like a fucking mtv rendition or whatever like that be like damn you know i missed out on um megan and stallion oh i missed out on uh madonna oh i missed out on robert Downey jr oh i missed out on rihanna remember rihanna she was in a situation where like men left and right was dogging her the girl did not have to the girl was dressed in a certain type of way aries moon kind of energy she was just being her fucking self so it was just like yo i i fucks with that you can be a pretty person and not be promiscuous i can't say that about obviously my ugly ass ex-friends <laughs> and ex-relatives that that feel like they have to put their pussy out in order to get opportunities but that's not me that really isn't me and i don't believe that rihanna is that kind of person to act no i really don't believe that she's that kind of person and in fact there's a lot of things that women in the industry are pressured to do and they don't they don't sleep around some of them do let's keep it a book <laughs> but i just you know the rumors were insane okay but yet people still rode with her took her chances she know that she cursed she smoked weed she had her tatas out um you know she she twerked and stuff like that but i mean any of the things that my um opponents my ops the people who have literally tried to vilify me harm me harass me have done you know th those things that they have done to me is unforgivable so i will never see myself collaborating with those motherfuckers but if anybody want to take the opportunity to ever want to associate affiliate or do business with me like you have the opportunity to that means that you're a smart business person you're a risk taker you just want to actually see something where like okay look you know you had a chance and you took it like um i am look even at my worst i'm fucking amazing okay i'm not saying that i've done like i haven't done any of those things that they have like alligated towards so like when I, and it's so crazy when people call me homeless i'm like where do you think i fucking like do you think this is a library, bitch? <laughs> I'm like, where do you fuck you think you like you see me filming every single day? Like, this is the same colored walls that I had like what? How many years ago that I've been been filming this? And the same colored walls that I have downstairs. So I don't understand. Like, I've had this house for shit damn near almost like twenty years. It's it's insane. Why? Oh my gosh. I I also see. Even though somebody wouldn't try to choose me for like any type of like um, collaboration or anything like that, it's like, I don't take it to offense because I would feel that you are either, you either found someone, hopefully, you know, for, for you know, for your sake, that it's actually a better fit, but it, it's really like no, it's not something to take offense, I mean, it's not something to take offense to because it hasn't materialized you feel me so if you be like oh hey like i would really like you for this role and i like you know i apply for something like that and i didn't get it i'm like okay well because like the moment didn't materialize the money didn't dip, um deposit into my fucking account like i took a shot i went on something you know i got he 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 and that was it it's people who think that they can try to hold something over my head are really really damn ignorant like i shit you not it's um it's an arrogance that i don't want to fuck with you have pardon me there's like fluffy hairs and stuff like that you have an air about you that is really off-putting and um and very unattractive i don't care how brilliant your mind that you think that you are there's always somebody that's born every fucking day that can material like that can eventually be you know as like that can eventually be better than you basically or is better than you like right fucking now i just that i don't I don't take things as a loss because I lost things back in the day and that person was somebody who like, you know, helped raise me in a reciprocal kind of situation where I helped take care of them. So, and I'm always coming up with creative ideas and I've also independently um, acquired, attained, created, cultivated, grew and maintained things independently. So it's never really, it's never, and I don't even want to be cute or sweet or humble about it it's never a loss i don't want to say it's never really no it's never a loss because i will either get something better or i will get something that i would just fucking make myself it's kingdoms rise and fall there's always a company where you're in and out cancel not cancel people where you have these opportunities and you shake hands in the background 
you will never try to put me in a situation where I'm going to feel low about myself because I know who the fuck I am. I'm creative. And while you're waiting and sitting on your hands, waiting for me to pu push out some content so that you can copy it or make your own rendition and then later on try to shit on it, please, I'm on to the next. But I will call you the fuck out because of the intentions that you had towards me, okay? Putting you in your fucking place and letting you know that you'll never be that girl or whatever like that. I mean, I'm telling you, I could literally be wherever, but I'm just like, you will never be that person that you that you think that you can humble me. I am automatically humble enough, but never to the point where you need to fucking try to think that you can try to like put me down. Okay, because I will literally read you. You will have to make up some shit and try to... You would have to make up some shit and try to really like go out of your way to make me a a villain or a, like seem ugly but it's just like the truth hurts for you because you'll be like you'll be shaking screaming crying in a fucking corner scheduling it probably to just like fucking die metaf metaphorically dead ass dead ass so I wanted to do this video because I, I feel like I shouldn't be the only person to have this kind of um, um, thought process because, yo, when people try to put me down, it's just like there's too many of you little pathetic whiny bitches. And should you happen to do that to other people in your fucking environment, I want them to possibly see this video and be like, yeah. So that way they flip it and you are the dumb ass stupid bitch that you really are like <laughs> you are like for real for real like bro it hurts it's got to apparently it's that's gotta hurt more than the fucking uh beauty surgery because you do you seem to do that shit so much that i guess it's more pain like i guess that's like less painful than actually being yourself or being who you um being who you look like inside and out because you have to be somebody else i guess that's more painful for you god can't imagine all right well i'm gonna go now so um yeah anybody who's like in a, in a business opportunity and wants to take um you know a chance on greatness um holler at me <laughs> yahaha all right bye